Previously on The Walking Dead. Whatever this thing is between us, I want to give it a chance. And I know the fact that David is back in our lives now makes this whole thing a little more complicated. But do you feel the same way? I guess you don't feel the same way. Just look what he's done. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. You've put me in a no-win situation here. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. Let Ava live. Shoot her. Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! How about you take David and the rest of your people and just get the hell out? Go to hell, Joan! <laughs> It's Kate. She's coming for us. Oh, shit. Oh, God. While we're still breathing, Javi, I'm letting the bones speak to me. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh, I think I can hear them. They're saying, you're going to lose, come mierda, so play already. I must have inherited patience from Ma. Oh, come on, man. Calm down, David. No one is ever in a rush to... Victoria. Carajo. I was so close. You're now my least favorite son, Javier. Hey, he's the one who beat you. Fine, it's a tie. I hate you both equally. Kicked out of baseball. Can't play dominoes. What exactly are you good at again, Javi? At least I can actually play baseball. Slugger. That's enough, both of you. It's not Javi's fault. He's a disgrace to the game of dominoes. I won. That's ten bucks you owe me. Both of you. I know you're broke, Javi. You should sit out the next game, since we all know I'm gonna win. No shame in surrender. You'd all understand. Don't kid yourself. You got lucky. <sighs> Fuck luck. That was skill. Pay up, little brother. If you can. I'll cover for Javier. Oh, is it your turn to do that now? I lost track. Poor, helpless Javi. Get my wallet, mijo. Keep an eye on him. You don't want him snatching an extra 20 for gas money. It's on the counter. Yeah, sure, Pa. Pa? What's this? Hey, man, I was reading that. What? Wait, what's up? What the fuck is this? None of your business. He has cancer. What? Bob, really? I'm old. Old people get cancer. You didn't need to know. That's not for you to decide. Oh, my God. You really should have told us. It's the right thing to do. It's my cancer. I get to do whatever I want. You know now. What difference does it make? How bad? It's okay, mijo. Ask me. How bad is it? You won't have to worry about paying me back that ten bucks. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Pa. Please, settle, David. Now. 
You haven't told Mama. And neither will either of you. You hear me? Mouth shut. Whatever you want, Pa. I, I won't say a word. Oh, of course, I have to be the one who tells her. Am I the only one here with any sense of responsibility? You're gonna need her help with this, Pa. Driving you to the doctor, getting prescriptions. Wait, what are your options? Treatment, stuff like that. Chemo, radiation, all that expensive mierda. Great. When did you start? I turned it down. Turned it down? You don't get to turn it down. So much money and for what? Another month. Another game of dominoes to lose. It's not worth it. If I was still playing ball, I could have paid for it. I'll pay for it. It's not happening. Save your money. Fuck the money. I can afford it. You can afford it, David. But my pride can't. Let's play another game. You are a fucking coward! A selfish coward! Javi, can you believe this shit? What the fuck, David? Apologize now! Sit down. Both of you. You know, I pray for daughters. <laughs> Every night your mother was pregnant with both of you. Please, God, a daughter. Anything but a son. Anything but another me. Anything but another hot-headed idiot with his heart in the right place. Anything but another foolhardy, handsome gambler. Anything at all. Please, Papa. Don't give up. Fight. Fight for our name. For our blood. For our family. Please, fight. You have to fight, Pa. We don't just give up, any of us. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'll think about it. Oh, thank you, Pa. Thank you, Javi. Now can we play another game? I'll grab some more beers. So, what are you really gonna do? Truth be told, Whatever gets your mother off my ass. You think you two were mad at me for keeping secrets? Hm. But it's good to see you and David on the same side of things, or a change. I'm gonna be a name carved in stone before you know it, Javier. That'll be me. Letters on a rock that nobody wants to visit. I know you think you're strong enough to handle that alone. And so does your brother. And you're both wrong. You have to take care of each other. You two are all I'll leave behind, like Gabe and Mariana will be for David. Legacy, Javier. It's all anyone leaves behind. That and their bones. Be brothers before it's too late. That's not too much to ask. One last favor for your old man. Okay, Pa, I'll try. As hard as you can. As... as hard as I can. I still need to pay, David. Pa. Oi, if you had just won the game, we wouldn't have had this problem. <laughs> so you're blaming me for all this. I'm depending on you, mijo. We both are.
Keep! Keep! here. She must have gotten out. If something's happened to her, if you've gotten her... You better hope she's alive. How about it? You're welcome. I just saved your life. Is that what you're thinking about? Kate's more important than your ego. Kate! 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 David, wait! Trying to get yourselves killed? Uh, there's Gabe and Clem! Lead the way, Javi. Get the knee! Like this! Nice! I got a great teacher. You guys alright? Yeah. I I'm fine. There's so many. We'll be safer inside. Get in. That should hold them for now. You put up a good fight out there. Hey, Dad. I'm glad you made it out. Joan's probably looking for us. No, she isn't. Javi shot her. What? Good riddance. You were negotiating. I heard you. You didn't have to shoot. Everyone started panicking and shooting. We almost died. You know what Joan's done. Prescott, Mariana, they're gone because of her. I couldn't trust her to keep her word. We'll never know now. Javi's right. Joan had to go. I would have done it too. That's because you don't mind killing people, do you? I'm tired of being told people had to die. It's bullshit. Gabe, that's not fair. Hey, you do not walk away from me. When someone speaks to you, you stand up and answer them. Even if you don't want to. David, that's enough. He's not a little boy. He doesn't need that from you. What he needs is to learn to keep his opinions to himself until he understands what the hell he's talking about. I'm just... I'm trying to protect you, Gabe. I lost you once. I won't let it happen again. Okay? We made it through alive. Let's just be glad about that. We need to check the other entrances. Make sure we're safe. Gabe, wanna help me out? Javi? Gabriel! Just be careful, buddy. A lot of muertos out there. Gabe and I will watch each other's backs. I'll help too. O okay. Hey, Clem's with them. It's fine. It's not that. It's... let's just... <sighs> I'm all over the place. 
I need to focus on something. Anything. Just need to focus. On whatever. Let's see if there are any other survivors. It'd be good to know who's still around. I don't want to think about how many people may have just died. But I guess I'm gonna have to find out eventually. Let's go. I'm glad Mariana didn't live to see this. To see what her father's become. To see what I've done. She'd be just like that little boy. Scared that the monsters are coming after her next. She would never trust us again. And I wouldn't blame her. Kate, come on. We're not monsters. I don't know who we are anymore. But it's not the people she knew. did this to them, but that hole is there because of me. This is all my fault. What happened was an accident. A bad one, but still, you didn't do it on purpose. But it's still my fault. I can't leave until I make this right. All of this. Let's fix this as best we can. All right, Kate, let's make things right. I don't know if it's actually possible, but I feel a lot better knowing you're there, too. You've got a lot of nerve showing up here, after the bullshit you pulled. You're unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, oh, I've got a lot of nerve. Everything that happened is because of you. This is all your fault. I told you, I wanted you out of my life after what you did to Conrad. Why did you tell Joan what we were doing? I was triaging a bad situation. Their doctor is barely functioning. And before you guys fucked it all up, their walls worked. It's not only about me. I can actually save lives here. Not just stitch them up and hope for the best. These people will die without me, Javi. I know she... well, fucked us over. But she's trying to help them. She's trying to make something right. That's worth forgiving, right? She's trying. That counts. Eleanor is one of us. Maybe she forgot it. But I haven't. Thank you, Javi. We should try to help. Not everyone here is guilty. Did you see the little girl out there? She was right behind me. I'm sorry. I haven't seen any little girls. First Rufus. Oh, baby girl. She knew Rufus. He was her husband. Until you shot him in the back. She's one of my people, Eleanor. What's going on with her? She'll be all right. She's not bitten or anything. She lost her daughter out there. I know. I'm so sorry. Christ. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Tell me about it. Give her some privacy. It's the least we can do. I want to help you. Okay. Well... What the... We're all fucking dead because of you! Hey, easy. We're... You blew a hole in our wall! Got my little girl killed! Richmond was fine until your stupid easy ass for... showed up. We're dead fucking meat, David. Might as well take out this asshole while I can. Fern. Shut up! Put it down. 
You don't want to hurt anyone. Just like you put it down for Joan. Stand down. That's an order. Kate, no! Fern, this is all because of me. I caused the explosion. I killed your daughter. Please, forgive me. It's my fault. Please. I am begging you. I hardly have any family left. Please don't take any more away from me. No! Burn! Holy Wait. shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Dad! You're welcome, Javi. That dead guy. David, what are you doing? This isn't right! David! Oh my god! This is unacceptable! Did you really need to break her arm? That wasn't necessary. Okay? Don't thank me. No! David! Gabe! I, I, I'm sorry, that was an accident. You were going to kill her. She was going for her gun. Look at her. Gabe, I'm... She can't even stand up. What the hell is wrong with you? It was over the line, Gabe. You're right. Gabe. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that to you. You know that. Why the hell are you all looking at me that way? They're just... They're scared, David. Of what? I'm protecting them. Why are you pointing a gun at us? So I'm all alone. Fine, then. You people are on your own. I've seen that look in his eyes before. You should go after him. David? What are you doing? Thinking it over isn't going to do you any favors. If you want to jump, just jump. Come over here. Or are you afraid of me too? I know the rest of them are. Right? I won't lie to you, man. You have been acting pretty scary. So you are afraid of me? You brought it on yourself, David. My wife, Javi. My son, they look at me differently. Maybe you're seeing them differently. I want to show you something. Stand with me. Uh, why the hell are you smiling? See that sewer line over there? Perfect placement for a trench. That hill about a hundred paces west of it. A sniper's wildest dream come true. I'm a soldier, Javi. I see this landscape like a painter sees a blank canvas. Like how you used to see a baseball diamond. I'm a soldier. This makes sense to me. I was made for this. I thrive in this. Maybe it's crazy. But sometimes crazy things make sense. If only a little. I'm surprised you understand. A soldier isn't a husband. Or a father. A soldier is a soldier. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing at all. Call yourself whatever you want. I still see you as my brother. That is kind of you to say, Javi. I wish... I wish I had your heart sometimes. I want to change, Javi. 
I always have. Really? All you ever tried to do was get me to change. <sighs> Only because I couldn't bring myself to do it first. It's the one war I could never win. And I'm wondering why. Is it because I don't know how? Or because it's impossible to change who you really are? There's a way. There always is. No matter how lost you are. You just have to keep looking until you find it. Looks pretty messy. For now. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Just gotta live long enough to find out. Just like with anything else. I did what you asked. You did. Thanks for that. So now, will you step back? <laughs> sure. I found them! They're up here! Be careful, Javi. I ran into... He was still outside when we checked on the entrances. The muertos were everywhere. We got him inside just in time. So we let him in. There were so many muertos out there. Thank God you're okay, man. I... I was worried. Uh... Trip. About earlier. Yeah. About that. I ain't gonna punch you in the teeth. Though... I got every right. Really? Figured you'd put up a little bit of a fight. Oh, I thought nothing more, but... I just... Can't shake this slippery feeling I got. Like I'm... Standing in shoes that don't quite fit. You picked me to die, and... Someone else did instead. Ain't sitting right. Not one bit. I stand by my decision. I'd do it again. I respect that. Strength of conviction. I keep putting myself in your position. About Conrad, about all of this. Asking myself over and over again whether I'd do the same. I'd love to tell you I wouldn't. I really would. But I can't. If someone threatened my family, I'd shoot them in a heartbeat. Hell, I'd shoot him twice to make sure the lesson stuck. It's a complicated world. But at least there's people to share it with. Bygones? How about it? I'm in if you are. You bet. Bygones. Try not to piss me off again, please. There's so many. They're pouring in. It's even worse than you think. The streets are overrun. Nowhere to go except inside the buildings, and those smelly fuckers are beating down every door. We're sitting goddamn ducks here. Everyone in town is. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck have we done? So what do we do? I don't want to die up here. None of us do, Gabe. Stabilize the city. Figure out how to make it safer for everyone. I saw construction vehicles when we got the armored truck. We can use those to stop the Muertos, seal the breach, and save Richmond. That's over by the motor pool at the water tower. We could use the highway overpass to get to the water tower. Come on. Let's jump. <laughs> an easy jump. <clears throat> Keep your eyes open. Stay aware of your surroundings. All of you. Let's move out. When we found Kate earlier, she walked right past me. Like she didn't even know who I was. Right past me, and right towards you. Why was that? Just wondering. That can only mean one thing. She likes me more. 
Not a great time to joke around, Avi. We need to be careful up here, or else the exact same thing will happen to us. Stay sharp, and do not fire your guns. We're gonna be fine. That guy was all alone. We're not. Everyone hold back. Let Javi and I clear out these walkers. Good to go. Let's move. Okay, bud. When I was little, Dad used to ask me what I wanted to be when I was a man. And I pointed him. He always liked that. I thought he was such a great guy. It would always make him smile. Every time. David may not be perfect, but he's not the worst role model in the world. <sighs> Maybe. Be like your uncle. He told me that all the time. Don't be a man who relies on other people to solve your problems. Because then you're not a man at all. I used to think he was right. Not anymore, though, Javi. I can only hope I grow up to be like you. So, here's hoping. Oh, well, thanks, buddy. It means a lot. I'm sorry I never really said it before. I should have. Thanks a million. You're welcome, a million. You took such good care of me. Now we need to take care of Dad. He's the one that needs our help. We're gonna have to go around the side. There's barely any room. No time to waste. Come on. You know, I didn't think there was much that could scare me anymore. And yet, here we are. Just goes to show you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Life is full of surprises. Fear is the coffee of emotions. It wakes you up, keeps you sharp, can be a friend if you let it. Say nothing. Once we're back on the ground, that's when this shit's really gonna get scary. <sighs> Got a bad feeling. <sighs> Good lord. It's nasty down there. Can't even describe it. I thought I was toast there. You almost were. If we make it down there, I'll owe you one. When we make it down there, there'll be plenty of opportunities for that. We have to get across. I know Gabe doesn't see it, but David really is trying to look out for him. He's not doing the best job, but no one gives you a rule book to raise a kid. And they sure as shit don't. It's just... One thing I don't get, though. Did 
David really think he was helping AJ by letting him go? Why did he stop guarding him? Parenting isn't easy. You give them all you got, they tell you it's not enough, but you love the little shits anyway. Come on, you must have learned that too. I did. That's what makes it even harder to understand, though. After you put in all that work, so much of your heart... AJ was a brat. He lived with me after we kicked you out, Clem. I had already raised two kids. Thought it'd be a piece of cake. <laughs> Not with that tyrant. Is that why you gave him away? We had a bad winter. Destroyed every crop we had. I couldn't leave Richmond. And AJ couldn't stay in Richmond. I gave AJ to Lingard and told him to do whatever he had to to save his life. I miss that brat. Never asked Lingard about it again. Though I've wanted to. Often. I'll bet the little brat misses you too. Both of you. It wasn't easy, Clem. Remember, far as I knew, I'd already lost two children. It wasn't any easier with number three. It's never easy. I'm gonna keep you alive. Keep all of us alive. And hope that that's enough. Enough for atonement. Huh. He was a brat, huh? That goofy little brat. You were trying to take care of him. Sometimes that's not so easy. Reminds me of someone who did the same thing for me. You did the right thing. Shit. Chopped right in half. Oh. There's the other half. No way we're jumping across that. Well, there's the water tower. Not too far away. the hell happened here? You're not thinking, it's that or go back. We should go lightest to heaviest. That way it won't break on the first swing. I'll go first, Clem. Get a long run up, but not too long. If you take too many quick steps, you'll propel yourself upward instead of out. David. He's got this. She's right. I do. <sighs> Come on, Clem. Your turn. thing for the kids to swing across but us here's the secret I guarantee you you'll be just fine if you follow my advice perfectly okay whatever you do don't fall I'm gonna push you off the side of this thing well, you can't deny I'm right <sighs> oh. 
All right, David, you're up. You're the little brother. You should go first. Oh, you're definitely lighter. After you. Show me how it's done. Okay. Pay attention. Last, brother. Trip, you don't have Just to. Just go before I throw you across. Try. We can't just leave him. Y'all head out now. I don't want you seeing oh, this. Trip, no. None. Motherfucker! Trip! No! Ah! He went out fighting. I hope I do too. I'm sorry about your friend, Javi. He seemed like a good guy. The kind of guy you want on your side in a fight. It's priceless. Come on. We're almost there. <laughs> 